What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here with Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button and also go over in the corner and give me a thumbs up on this video. I would really appreciate it. Hope you guys are liking all my content here on the YouTube channel. I've been posting weekly videos. So hopefully you guys are liking the videos. Really appreciate all the comments you guys are leaving on my videos. I love reading through those, but in today's video, it's actually a little cold out today. There's supposed to be a blizzard and we're not going out fishing today. So I figured do a little video about how to put braid on a bait caster. A lot of people have been asking me to do a video like this. So I figured now is the time to do it or it's a good time to do it. So hopefully you guys learn a little tip today on how to put braid on a bait caster. And also guys, I wanted to mention that there's probably a ton of different ways that you can do this, putting braid on a bait caster. But in my opinion, this is my favorite way to do it. So if you guys wanna do it this way, cool. But if you don't, that's fine. If you guys have a special way that you put braid on, that is absolutely okay. But this is my favorite way to put it on. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's video and we'll see you guys here in a sec. Well, it is snowing like crazy. It's a blizzard here in Michigan right now. I was gonna film this video outside, but probably gonna have to go inside, go sit down on the boat and show you guys how to put the braid on the bait caster. So guys, before we get started, I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna be using in today's video. This is actually a loose speed spool. I've had it for like two to three years now. It is just an absolute amazing reel. Gets the job done. And I decided to put new braid on it. I just got the Power Pro and I'm gonna be using 20 pound test on this reel or on this bait caster. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up and how to spool your bait caster with braid. Also guys, this is not the only way to spool braid on a bait caster. This is one of my favorite ways to do it. There's a bunch of different ways, like I said. So hopefully you guys like my way and start spooling your bait casters like this. So first of all, I'm gonna put this reel on the rod, screw it on there, just super simple, and crank it down pretty good so it's not gonna come loose or anything. And then once you have that, you just wanna start putting your line through the first eye. You don't have to put them through the whole thing when you're spooling the reel, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So you grab your line, Got it right there. You probably can't see it that good because it's so small. Put it through the first eye right there. Bring it all the way down to that reel and see this little eye right here. You want to put your line right through there. And then you're going to grab it just like that. Super simple guys so far. And now I like with these loose bait casters, see these little holes down here that it's just kind of like a wiffle ball, I guess you could say. So guys, this is what I do different than most people, so watch closely. See these two holes right here? They're kind of like the wiffle ball thing that I was talking about, but you're, you're gonna wanna put your line through this first hole right here and try to get it through that next one. So I'm gonna do it real quick. So put it through there and see how it comes out, this other hole down here. If you can see that, put it through there, and then just pull it tight. And you're gonna wanna make an overhand knot back to this other line right here. So right now, guys, I'm just making like two or three knots down to the spool. I don't know if you can see it down there, right there, but I got it through that first hole, little hole, like I said, back through this little one. And then now you can see how it's just stuck right there. I'm pulling my line right here and it's stuck. You don't have to have backing line. So you're gonna wanna cut this little line right here. No need for that. Just cut it just like that and you're set guys. That's how I like to do it. And also I'll grab a piece of tape like this. I'm gonna set it down real quick. Just get a little piece of tape. I usually do this with all my reels. Just a little tiny piece of tape, just so it'll hold that knot so much better on your spool. 
and see where that knot is right there. Just cover that knot with your tape and pack it down super nice on the reel. And then there we go guys. You can pull your line and it's super secure just like that. So now, now that I have the knot on there, the braid and everything is secure, I'm gonna grab my line. When you're spooling your bait casters, you wanna have this little gear cranked all the way down. So you're gonna be cranking on your braid as tight as possible. When you're putting on braid on all your reels, you want it as tight as possible so you're not gonna get any backlash. So also what I like to do is I'll grab a rag, just like this, guys. So guys, with the line right here, I'm gonna grab the rag and grab the line and just barely keep it up like that. So you're gonna be keeping tension on the line the whole time you're reeling it in. And then now you're just gonna wanna crank it on. And now this line is going on super smooth and super tight. Like I said right here, you got your cloth or rag, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm putting tension on the line that's coming onto this reel. You just wanna crank it in just like this. See how smooth it's going on? Really nice. It's going on like butter, like I would say in some of my other videos, but See how smooth it's going on, guys. Super easy way to put braid on any of your reels. So just crank it on there. And when you're spooling up your bait caster, guys, you don't wanna put too much braid on it. You wanna leave like an eighth of an inch. So make sure you put enough, but you don't want too much. So I'm just gonna crank it on there real quick. So guys, I got a decent amount of braid on there now. I'm just gonna crank it a couple more times and make sure that you're keeping tension on that line, like I said, so it's going on the spool as tight as possible. But there we go, guys. I got my 20 pound braid, the Power Pro, on the loose speed spool and it is ready for action. So guys, that is how I put braid on all my bait casters. It's just how I like to do it. Hopefully you guys liked the way that I put it on. It's super easy, super, super simple. Like I said, and always make sure that you're putting tension on here, getting it as tight as possible on your um, spool. So hopefully you guys learned some tips and tricks today. Drop a comment below what you think of today's video. If you learned anything or what you guys think is the best way to spool braid on a bait caster. So appreciate you guys stopping by the channel and watching today's video. So guys, I also wanted to show you this way. It's super effective to getting your braid super tight on your bait casters. So right now I'm just outside. I tied the end of my braid back to the dog kennels back there. And now I'm gonna be walking all the way down the driveway and just letting my line loose. I don't know if you can see it, just like that. But I'm gonna walk my braid all the way down the, to the spool, just like that. It's super easy, guys. Just get all of your line off. I'm probably gonna go all the way down the driveway, almost maybe halfway down the driveway. But get all of your line off, and then you're gonna wanna walk all the way back to the dog kennels. So after you have all of your line out on the spool, you're gonna wanna walk all the way back to the dog kennel and you're gonna wanna make sure that you're keeping a ton of tension on your bait caster, on your line. This is a super effective way to get your braid tight on your bait caster. And like I said, when you're walking back, just make sure to have good tension on your reel or on your rod and make sure you're getting it as tight as possible. So I'm gonna do that real quick.
guys, I just walked almost all the way down the driveway and I came back cranking that braid super tight on the baitcaster. So check it out, it's super tight right now, but I probably still got like 20, 30 more yards to go. See, I'm just walking it all the way back, keeping tension on that braid or on that baitcaster right there. So this is just a super effective way to get your braid on your bait caster. So guys, I hope you learned a little tip today on how to get your braid super tight on your bait caster and also how to even get braid on your bait caster. So thanks a lot for watching today's video and stay tuned guys, cause we'll see you guys in the next video. We're coming out with some crazy videos. We'll see you guys in the next one.